Welcome to the Carlton Theatre. I'm Steve Walsh and today I'd like to introduce you to our upcoming production of The Accrington Pals, written by Peter Whelan and directed by Tinmouth Player's own Rebecca Hayden. This production is not only a continuation of our 50th year anniversary, but it will be the last production that Tinmouth Players put on at the Carlton Theatre before it is redeveloped later in the year. Eventually, the theatre will transform into the Carlton Pavilion and become a multifunction space embracing a number of local arts, performance and business activities. Watch this space. The Accrington Pals is described by director Rebecca Hayden as a poignant and at times harrowing play set in the early years of the Great War. It depicts both the experiences of the men facing the horrors of the Battle of the Somme and the women and families left behind. Accrington Pals is the Tinmouth player's own small contribution to the centenary commemoration of the beginning of World War I. Director Rebecca Hayden has dedicated this production to the ABF Soldiers Charity in recognition of the magnificent work they do in support of the Army family, no matter where or when they have served. We'll hear a little later from them. Now, some of the cast members would like to introduce themselves and their characters to you. I'm Karen Allen, and I'm playing Annie in Accrington Pals. And this is my husband, Arthur, and he's a primitive, what? Methodist. Primitive Methodist, indeed. Um, I only married him to take care of my son, because I had to child out a wedlock, or that's what I read into my part. So I really married him as a matter of convenience, didn't I? But I still think we've got two children oh, together. Sorry, I haven't. And I nag him to pieces. Just nag, 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 nag. So I'm Arthur, and I actually passionately believe that the war is a punishment from God because we haven't done what we need to do to make the world a better place. So he's very religious, he's very passionate, and he is so traumatised by the suffering he sees, there's a question mark of whether he loses his faith in the final moments of going over the top. So it's profoundly moving. And he's got a pigeon, which is his life. And he releases the pigeon. I out. hate the pigeons. Do you want to eat it? Yes. Oh, it's just stuck in the front. Hi, I'm Jodie Newton, and in Accrington Pals, I'm playing Bertha. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Parker, and in Accrington Pals, I'm playing Sarah. My character is uh, a little bit of a show off. She's very inappropriate. She says everything that she shouldn't say. And uh, yeah, she's. Uh, Bertha's best friend. Yes, yeah, she's Bertha's best friend. <laughs> Bertha is um, a young woman who represents the uh, working women of World War One, who ended up in new job positions um, because the men weren't around. And she kind of looks to Sarah for support and any information she doesn't have herself. Yeah, she's, Sarah's a bit of a gossip. And her husband's gone off to war, but we never actually see her husband. But we do hear a lot about his bodily function. <laughs> um. I'm Ben Tisdall, I'm playing Ralph in Accrington Pals. Um, this is Jess Hunter. And I'm playing Eva, and um, we're a romantic item in the play. With a love interest, which is very difficult because we hate each other off stage. Mm. <laughs> but we're trying to find some chemistry together. Yes, we're we'll trying. We're uh, going to have to act very hard to do mm. that. My name's Ken Hayden Sadler, and I play the part of Company Sergeant Major Rivers, the rather enigmatic Rivers who is the embodiment of of the establishment and the military in the, in the context of this play. I recall when I went to Sandhurst over 50 years ago, the company sergeant major was God. And so it is something of a challenge for me now to, uh, to live up to those hallowed <laughs> memories of, of the company sergeant major. But this is a very special play for the Tinder players. It's not only is it our contribution to the centenary of World War I, but it's also the last production that will take place in this lovely theatre. I'm sure you're going to miss the place. So, um, I'm Catherine Bamforth, and I'm playing the character of May Hassel, who's a uh, owner of a green grocery stall. Um, and I, um, I'm thoroughly enjoying this first lead role of mine. I've not played a lead before, so it's quite daunting, quite exciting, but I'm a... Uh, very well supported by my trusty 
sidekick here. I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, I'm Darren, Darren Parr, and I'm playing Private Tom Hackford. Uh, I suppose you could call ours a love interest of sorts, couldn't mm-hmm. you? Yeah. Very complicated. This is very complicated. Yeah. yeah. But I do like an older lady. So, <laughs> <laughs> so very, very well cast then, clearly. The oil of you, lay needs to come out In a the bit play, more. of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks to the cast for letting us intrude on their busy rehearsal schedule. Recently, Rebecca had the opportunity of chatting with two members of the ABF Soldiers Charity about their role locally. She started by asking Robert Jordan how important it was to commemorate historic moments in time like the start of World War I and how significant they are today. I think it's very important that we remember the sacrifice that have been made by our soldiers in all conflicts. Um, obviously, we're focused on World War I, the centenary year. One of the reasons our charity uh, was uh, set up in 1944 was the fact that it was recognised that when soldiers were demobilised and came home in 1918, 1919, there was absolutely no safety net, nothing set up to help look after them and their families. And this was a lesson that we learned by 1944, so the charity was established then. I think that it's very appropriate that as we remember the sacrifices made by the World War I generation a uh, hundred years or so ago, that we still bear in mind the sacrifices that are still being made uh, on behalf of uh, our nation by today's soldiers. Um, Afghanistan will probably soon start to fade from the uh, media headlines, but the lifelong effects suffered by uh, our men and women who've served there uh, will be with us probably for another 70 years. So I think it's very important that we take this opportunity to, to remember um, the conflict of World War I. Rebecca also asked local organiser Chris Lunn how important it was for the ABF Soldiers Charity to get involved with local groups like the Tinder Players. It is very important for us because although the Army Benevolent Farm Soldiers Charity is a national charity, we do rely very much on local support and local committees to organise local events and to raise money which is then spent locally. So in Devon, I chair the Devon Committee. Last year we raised about £75,000 in the county, including Tynmouth obviously, and we spent about the same sort of money helping about 80 individuals and their families. And so at an average of about £700 per family that we helped, it means that a modest contribution really does have a very significant impact on a soldier and his family when they are in need. So that local connection is extremely important to us. I'd like to thank everyone for taking part in this video. The Accrington Pals opens on Tuesday the 10th of June over six performances until Saturday the 14th. Tickets are available from the box office, which is open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. until midday. You can also book tickets over the phone by calling 01626 778 991. That's 01626 778 991. For more information, visit www.tinmouthplayers.com or email info at carltontheatre.com. Thank you.